Omaha's biocontainment unit recently celebrated its 10th anniversary, but it really only saw the first patient last fall. In depth tonight, Brian Master reports on how attitudes have changed towards those who work there. When Dr. Rick Sacra came to Omaha as the city's first Ebola patient last September, the learning curve on the deadly disease for all of us was a steep one. The 40 or so people caring for him never expected the backlash once they left their shift inside the biocontainment unit. Weeks later, the stories began to surface. Children of biocontainment unit staffers were uninvited to children's birthday parties. One worker was prevented from seeing a newborn in the family. Another nurse questioned whether she was fit to coach soccer. A month after Dr. Sacra went home cured from Ebola, Nebraska Medicine went before the microphones to try to halt what was described as, quote, irrational fears paralyzing us in our daily lives. Having people shunned at parties or soccer games or what have you because their parents are participating in the care of a patient is totally irrational fear. It's my first time back. Fast forward seven months and the return of Dr. Sacred Omaha. It was a little weird going in the room, going in my, <laughs> my three-week uh, isolation room. I made sure I wasn't the last one out of the room. <laughs> We asked around, have those irrational fears subsided as time passed? And we're very resilient. And Trauma and preparedness director now, nurse Shelley Sweethelm remembers the early safe. days well. Whenever you have something that's unknown, I think it's just a matter of re-education. And I think that those are all normal things for people to go through. The staff reacted to the shunning by talking it out. Well, in healthcare, you're always dealing with difficult situations. And so I think it's just a matter of, you know, getting upset about it or worried about it was never going to be helpful. So I think we really coached our staff at that time, too, to really take a moment and step back and think about, is this an education opportunity? And as far as perceptions changing? We went from a period of total unknown to um, a period where I think uh, the community of Omaha and Nebraska and then basically the country supported us and trusted us. And this staff knows they'll be tested again. It's not just about Ebola anymore. We need to think about what's next and not have ourselves be caught off guard. With photographer Jim Hinchek, I'm Brian Mastery reporting WWT6 News. That nurse that we just spoke with says that she estimates around 95% of the interaction with the public regarding Ebola in the last few weeks has now been positive.